Are you looking to verify users on your Discord server? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that for free. So let's take a look. We're at our Discord main screen right now. And what we want to do is head over to the website for the verification bot. So I'm going to open up my browser and the official URL is authenticateme.cf. And I'll make sure I link that in the description below. To install this, it's very simple. We just have to click on the add to server button right over here. It lets us know the type of access that's going to require, and we need to select our server. So I can go ahead and select my server, and then you can click on continue. Now for everything that's required here, uh, I would leave it checked. The only thing that you don't have to have checked is the administrator option. Uh, everything else will require, and they can just scroll all the way down to the bottom. And if you're okay with everything here, click on authorize. Check the I am human. So we can do the CAPTCHA. Okay, and it's done and we get a notification over here from Discord. And I'm gonna jump over to my Discord window. So over here on the right-hand side, you can see that you have the new verification bot added. And now what we have to do is create a couple of roles. We're gonna have one that's automatically created and it's called verification. And we're gonna be creating a secondary one. So when people have gone through the verification process of your server and move to that next role. So we're gonna go over here onto the left-hand side, up at the top, click on the down arrow, and then we're gonna to go to server settings. And over on the left-hand side again, we're gonna click on roles. And I have a whole bunch of roles already listed here. And if I scroll down to the bottom, you'll see verification down at the bottom. We actually wanna move it up at the top because this is like in a hierarchical. So I'm gonna move it up a little bit higher, not above my administrator, but I'm gonna have it over here. And I just have to click on save to save the changes. So verification is now up here at the top just below my admin role. And now what I'm gonna do is create a whole new role and that's gonna be called verified. So I can, I'm just calling it verified. You can call it whatever you want. Basically people who get this role have gone through the verification process of joining the server. And typically people use the color green. You can really use any color that you want. I'm gonna use green here and then I'll save my changes. And then once we have that saved, we can just go back into the role section and our new role is gonna be again down at the bottom. So I'm gonna grab this role, I'm gonna move it up, not above verification, but just below it. So it's one below it. And once you have that completed, you can click on save changes. And once we have that done, we can just uh, move out of here and go back to the main window. And now what we're ready to do is create a new channel. And that new channel is gonna be for verification. So in my welcome section, you can really put it in any section. For me, it just naturally makes sense to happen at the beginning. So I'll create a new channel here and it's gonna be a text channel and I'm gonna call it Get Verified. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be making this channel a private channel. So we'll select that and then we can click on Next. We wanna make sure that we have the role for Verified selected. Okay, and then we can go ahead and click on Create. And now that we have the channel created, we wanna modify some of the settings. So we're gonna click on Edit Channel now we're going to click on the permissions option over here on the left hand side and we're going to scroll down a little bit here and you can see that we have verified and everyone everyone is going to be there by default we're going to first select verified and we're not going to allow the verified people to view the channel we'll scroll down a bit here and we're also going to deny the messages so we're going to turn that off as well then we can go ahead and save those changes and then we're going to scroll back up and now we're going to select the everyone rule and we're going to allow everyone else to view this channel turn that on and then we're going to scroll down to send messages and we're gonna say they can send messages as well. And then we can click on save changes. Okay, and once we have that saved, you can go ahead and close out of this and get back to our main verified channel. Back here at the main channel, what you wanna do is disable the channels for people who are not verified. So for people who log into your Discord channel for the first time, they will not be able to see the channels unless they're verified. So what we wanna do is select the, you can select the entire category itself, right click on it, and then go to edit category. And we can go over to permissions and for people that's everyone we're going to say they cannot view the channel and we'll scroll down a bit here and they cannot send messages we can save those changes okay and that's for everyone and now what we're going to do is we're going to add a rule and we can make sure that they can view and send messages so we're going to click on the plus sign over here we're going to select the verified option and these are the verified rules so we can they can view the channel and we'll scroll down and they're able to send messages and we'll click on save and we go back to the main window and you're going to notice a difference now so if you look over here on the left hand side i've only done the category for text channels and you can see that there is now a padlock symbol next to it where the other ones do not because i haven't edited these if you're not verified you'll not be able to see these channels and that's basically the permissions you want to apply to all the categories in here so we just did it for categories but the same thing is going to apply if you wanted to do it for individual channels say you only have a few channels and you only want some visible and some not visible you can do the same thing by right clicking on it 
and then go down to edit channel. And we're gonna do the exact same thing, select permissions, select everyone. They're not gonna be able to view this one and they're also not gonna be able to send messages. We'll save that and then we're gonna add a new role, which is the verified role and verified members will be able to view the channel and send messages and we can save it. And we'll go back to the main window and you can see that there's a padlock over here and you can repeat that step for individual channels if you don't wanna do the entire category. Okay, and we're done. And basically we've applied permissions to everything but the welcome channel and the get verified and everything else you cannot see unless you've been verified for the Discord server. So now we're ready to set up the verified bot and inside the verified channel, we're gonna type in slash setup. And if you have more than one bot like I do, you wanna make sure you select the right one. I'm gonna be selecting the verified one. And now what we need to do is assign a role. So the role that we're gonna be assigning is that new verified role that we, so we can click on that. And then the channel, and the channel that we're gonna be selecting in here is gonna be the get verified channel that I just made or whatever you called it. It's called get verified for me. So we'll select that. And then once you have that all entered and selected, you can hit the enter button. And that's it. So when people log into their server, they're just going to see the welcome channel as well as the get verified channel. And they're going to get this prompt. All they have to do is click on the green verify button right over here, and they're going to get verified and they'll be able to jump into the server and see the rest of the channels as the role automatically gets assigned to them. I hope this is clear. If it's not, I'm also going to be putting a link for my blog in the description that'll walk you through these steps step by step. Uh, so just in case you miss any steps, you'll be able to roll back and see where you are. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. If you thought this video was useful, please smash that like button. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.